crystal. I've loved dolls my whole life. I collect everything from porcelain to cloth, American Girl, neonates, and real care dolls. But my favorite is to collect and make reborn dolls. There's Chloe, Grace, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, Zoe, Haley, Landon, Maisie, and Joshua. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hi guys. So I'm here to show you my haul that I got uh, when Marilyn and Paula and I went to Vaughn Mills Mall on November 1st. Uh, it's a pretty small haul because I don't have a whole lot of fun money these days um, with lots of other expenses coming up and also just the fact that I'm not making as much money right now because um, my hours are still cut back at work and on top of that YouTube with their stupid new things I'm not making nearly as much as I used to on YouTube so Fun money is very limited nowadays, um, so I'm having to be super selective and careful of what I'm buying. Um, hopefully in the new year that will change, but for now with Christmas and everything, got to be very conservative with my fun money. But anyways, here's what I did get. So at Bye Bye Baby, I got... I did get the Rudolph outfit because they did have it in the three months up on the display and I managed to get someone to get it down for me. So it's a one piece romper. It is footless and the whole thing is red. It has a cute little pocket on the front um, and it's got like this little patch on there that has Rudolph and it says Rudolph. And then it has like an argyle print across the top that has little um, white and green reindeer. And, and then of course it has Rudolph across of it and it has two little brown buttons. And the hood has little antlers, which for some reason, I don't think I noticed that until I got just now when I got home. That is absolutely adorable. I could not leave that there. So the next thing I got was from Winners and I only bought two things there. So the first thing was this set. I thought it was really unique. Um, it has these light blue pants. They're kind of like leggings. And the top is a thermal material, which is great for the fall and winter. And it's got like... It's white, but it has um, floral prints on it that are in very pastel colors like yellow, pink, and blue. And it has a light blue bow on the collar. And I just thought it was really unique and really cute. I love thermal material for some reason. Um, and then the other thing I got at Winners was this onesie because it just reminds me of my childhood. It says totally old school and it has three of the old school Fisher Price toys. The talk, um, the telephone with the face that you would pull. I had that as a child. The stacking rings I had when I was a child and the little, I called this a popcorn maker <laughs> when I was a kid. Um, it's one of those things that you push on the stick and it's got that plastic bubble and it, and it pops all the balls as you push it. I thought it was a popcorn maker when I was a kid. That's what I called it. Um, and it was only five bucks. So like, I really couldn't pass that up because I am from the eighties and I just, I mean, I know these toys go even further back than the eighties, but the, these are just like the toys of my childhood. It's just so cool. So I could not pass that up. Um, so that is all that I got. I did um, there was one other thing that I can't show right now because it's for another video. Um, but I will just say Joshua bought a Christmas present for a sibling. And that's all I'm going to say with that. 
So I'm not going to show it now because um, I'll just say it's for, it was from H&M, but I'm not going to show it because it's to do with a video that I have planned uh, for some time in December, I guess. Um, but before I sign off on this video, I also wanted to show you guys that I also uh, purchased a couple of items from Maple Leaf. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, they finally restocked those boots that I had wanted to go with the outfits, that, the uh, Canada fall winter outfits that I bought. So I did get those. So they are called the Storm Trooper Boots. And um, it's really great when you live in Canada and the company's in Canada, everything's in Canadian dollars. And the shipping is a flat rate shipping. So you can order as much as you want and it's still the same rate for shipping, which is fantastic. So of course they always come with journal pages in French and English. And this is 10 tips for avoiding frostbite and frost nip. So it's like a little informational leaflet for the journals. Um, and guys, these are the boots. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness, like, Oh, and they have, they put little styrofoam in them to keep the shape during shipping. But look at these. They remind me of Sorel boots. They are so cute. And they're going to look so adorable with the outfits. And <clears throat> one of the ladies um, that I had talked to prior to purchasing any Maple Leaf clothes, um, she showed me all the items from Maple Leaf that she has that fit her American Girl dolls really well. And these boots were one of them. So I know that I'm safe with that. So I I, thought I just wanted those boots so bad. And at the time that we bought the outfit, they were out of stock. So, and then the other bit, um, oh, Whoops. Okay. So the other bit is, um, wow. I'm, oh yeah. The Canada day outfit, the Canada day outfit was on sale. So I figured I would take advantage of the sale price and purchase it. So this is the Canada day outfit. I thought it was absolutely adorable. It's got a white, cap um the center has kind of like a mesh look to it and then it's got an embroidered red maple leaf it comes with a little mini canada flag so cute and a white t-shirt and it says canada with the maple leaf but the maple leaf is all types of um, pictures to do with Canada. Like we've got Parliament Hill, um, curling, Canada geese, because Canada geese are everywhere. <laughs> um, we've got a lighthouse, which is probably, I'm guessing, from like PEI or Nova Scotia. Um, we've got the loon, beaver, um, I think that's supposed to be a swan or maybe it's another Canadian goose in there. We have an orca. It looks like another loon. Some polar bears. Oh, I just noticed this. They even have the snowbirds. Our, um, the airplane team that goes in the air show every year. Snowbirds. We've got lobster maple syrup, um, totem poles, sea and tower. Uh, let's see what else I can recognize. It's very, they're all really small. There's an anookshuk, a bison. I can't really make out what that is. I don't know why there's a telephone. It looks like a telephone. I don't know what that has to do. <laughs> I don't know what the, why is there a telephone? Oh, and then there's like, um, a snowshoe, 
Uh, I think some more maple syrup. Some of them are really tiny and it's hard to see. Oh, there's a thing that says A. Um, and then, of course, the maple-y sign. Some oats, I think, for the prairies. There's the Rocky Mountains. Uh, we have hockey in there. Oh, the these are Mountie police hats. I can't really make out what these little things are here. There's one there. And there's one up there. I'm not sure what those are supposed to be. And I'm not sure what these are supposed to be either. There's a couple of pictures repeated, but they're hard to make out. This is the Quebec symbol. Um, there's a deer. There's a moose. Yeah, and more curling stuff, the Canadian flag. It's really cool. It's like a um, a maple leaf made out of Canadian items and pictures and stuff. And then, of course, it comes with red shorts and a journal page as well. And this is about Canada Day. So that's really cool. Um, so yeah, that's what I got from my little order on Maple Lee. And, you know, I slowly hope to acquire a few more pieces over the years. Um, I just have to do a little bit at a time. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing this haul. And... Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if you're new. And we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.